What's going on, YouTube? I'm back with a part two, you guys. Yes, indeed. I've been cutting up, chopping up. I don't know why my screen looks so blurry, you guys. I'll be having it in my pocket. Well, time to tell, you guys. I'm going to towel. So. I've been cutting up ribs and rib tips, you guys. I sold all the chicken wings. This is my treat right here, y'all. Mm. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna give it a cover that up. Yep. Man. Hold on, you guys. My little treat. My little lunch, y'all. Woo! One thing about mine is for free. Woo! Hey! This is what you call personal. Drips off the ribs, y'all. Don't like it. Hmm? It's hot. It's hot out here today. Yesterday I took off. Today I can't take off. I can't take off, y'all. But what? I can't sit on the couch. You don't make no money sitting on the couch. My little strips, I like them burnt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. About the rain. I think it's been, you know how it be hot for a couple of days and then it's just a storm and then it get real hot. Yep. Somebody walking over him. Yeah. So, I hope everybody having a blessed day out there today. Did a video on Venom, Catalina. I had some work done on it. And the guy didn't do what he said he did on it. That's what Scott was telling me yesterday. Boy. And then like drinking some ice cold. It's so hot. So. Scott is working on it. He's going to correct everything that he didn't do. Don't oh, worry. Mm. Because I hope it don't show the TV that it looks so blue. Anyway, I'm back to relaxation. Mm. So, this is what I'm doing, ordering the parts, and Scott is going to fix everything, then after he get done with my Catalina, I'm going to have him put a fuel pump in my 92 Camaro. Mm-hmm. 
something. The one that I was gonna give my son. So my son decided that we discuss because Camaro got a lot of power. So I'm thinking about getting him like a little Mustang or a Charger or something like that. Cause that Mustang was souped up something else. So if it's got too much power, I don't want to, you know, give it to him, let him hurt himself. So, daddy will keep it. I won't sell it. Like, 20 years ago, I had plenty of old screws. I sold them, but now I got six of them just trying to keep. I'm probably going to, as my career go on YouTube, my collection going to get bigger. Because I have more money to buy more cars. Yep. And that's no cap. Boy, that feels good. So you guys, Tell my wife this year, I'm taking the whole year restoring my cars. They've been sitting for like 12, 13 years. It's time to get them up because I want to get back to driving them. She know how much that mean to me, my car. Because when we first started dating, I worked hard. On a drug dealer, they thought I was selling drugs, man. I was rolling clean, flipping burgers. They'll see me driving my car, then I'll step out. I got flour on me. Got an apron on. I just left work. I'm cooking. That's what I do. You know what I mean? I cook. And clean and a bit. What the all go? Butters on them cheese balls and it's banging. At 77, I started off with a 77 Chevy box. I had four of them. Bars and bows, all gold, all chrome, chameleon, all that. And my daddy always was into old cars, so my daddy started us collecting cars. My brother got more than me. I'm just I'm the youngest out of four. All brothers. I'm the little brother. I'm baby boy. I like you the baby boy. Man, get off of me. But anyway, my daddy got all kind of cars. But me and my wife used to ride around when I had my car fixed up. We'd go to the park and get some ice cream. We'd chill, man. I get off work, we jump in the shower. We hit to the strip. We call it the strip. We call it Trey 8. Anybody come to Indianapolis? Go to 38th Street at night. It's banging. It's live. Everybody out. It's like Bill Street in Memphis, but here. Everybody out. Sorry. That was good. Today kind of slow. It's hot. You know what I mean? Oh, Man. I'm gonna be out for a minute. Cause it's hot. Boy. That right there is mm, a Dr. Pepper, too. Man. God. The other day was hot food chase over. 
I mean, they was running wide open. I want to go. Six, seven cops behind a little truck. I ain't never saw nothing like it before. High speed chase. I was like, okay, yeah. I'm witnessing a high speed chase. It's just like, it's just like on cops, man. I mean, that was, he was driving that truck. Was like two little kids, man. It's like, that's crazy. You know, man, that stole a car. You got six, seven police right behind you. Crazy. Oh, okay, y'all, trying to break down. It's hot. It's hot. How everybody doing out there? I'm doing what I do for the community every day. It's a must. I get here. I get the grill situated. Get the tables out. Get the tents out. And I start serving the community. And when I know if somebody buy food or don't buy the food. I'm still happy because I'm doing what I love to do. I'm out here, I'm selling food. Um, you know what I mean? Selling food, meeting new people, getting more subscribers. So I'm enjoying it. It's a win win. You know what I mean? It's a win win, y'all. Go home tonight, rest up. My son's got a game tomorrow. I'm going to cook tomorrow. I'm going to probably start early, about 1 o'clock. His game starts at 7. So I'm going to cook from about 1 to about 5.30, 6 o'clock. That's enough time to grill and eat and cook. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I am a good father, you know? I, I like to be there to support my kids and be on time. Never late. Never late. I done watch three walk across the stage. I'm about to watch another one walk across the stage this year. We'll have four walk across the stage. And only one more to go. Thank you, good Lord. Thank you for blessing me to be able to be the man I am and raise my kids. Mm -hmm. That's all I can ask for. Well, I have to go off to my father. My hat goes off to the man that had the plan. <laughs> they got always buy ribs. He left in his van. He came back in his bike. And he was going like 50 across the lot. That's what you guys heard. So I was looking like, what the hell? What's all that for? Because if somebody come around that corner, they don't know that you coming. Because, man, it's a dangerous spot. It's kind of like, I'm going to show you guys. He came from that way, right? I mean, flying all the way, all the way this way. Now imagine somebody coming around the liquor store, like from that way around that blue car, and he's coming that way, head on collision. You can't stop in time. Cause sometimes the cars come from there like, like just fast. They just, then it's like, man, see how they come around? But well, they come around faster than that. I mean, it don't matter. Young, old, it don't matter. They be doing 55. Around this damn parking lot. Oh, there's more than that. Mm -hmm. Man, you guys, go up here. Ooh. Go up here, you guys can see me. I'm about to go 
cut some ribs. Guys don't mind, do you? Cut these ribs out. Yeah. E. I want to say thanks for tuning in with your boy Chef Bello. Anybody new to my channel, please subscribe to this channel. Hey! Y'all wanna go over a walk with me? Come on. I'm trying to go get something right quick. Yesterday, I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. And I got people coming up here trying to give me counterfeit money, man. That ain't cool, is it? I'm just looking at him. He's steady trying to hand it to him, hand it to me. I'm telling him, hey man, why don't you just come on back? You know when you're ready. I ain't trying to tell him, hey bro, you giving me counterfeit money, bro? You know what I mean? I'm trying to be nice. Mama said, be nice. I really do want some. <laughs> Mama said, be nice. I mean, you got dumbass people out here, bro. Stupid. Stupid. A lot of them. I just be nice. Even though they act retarded as hell, I just, you know, I don't scoop to their level. Never that. But I just try to treat people for life. 
respect it. Because I want respect. That's what it's about. No matter what kind of condition problem you got, you respect me, I respect you. No matter what color you are. I'm going to respect every man. You respect me? Now you disrespect me, I'm going to fuck you up. Now I'm just <laughs> Excuse me, mama. <laughs> Real talk. No yeah. cap. Hey, boss, what's going on? You mean city life, Black Sweet? Black Sweet? Yeah. Right on. Pretty hot out there, you guys. Real hot. Real hot. Who are you? <laughs> That's my little guy, man. Pretty good guy. You doing all right? Good? You, man. That's good. It's pretty hot out there. Just like Hi, old, guys. How are you? Just like the old, old days in Desert Storm. What's up, bro? Desert Storm. Nice bike, bro. Yes, sir. It's a good day for it. <laughs> yeah, you know how it is. Better than rain, though. Hey, Pop. Yeah, they got the bikes out. Real busy today, man. You got to see Smoker Robson up there. She ain't playing. Oh, she ain't gonna play. As long as she fill love with me, she smokes slow. Slow! <laughs> I let her do what she do. Cause she gotta do what she do. It's his job to smoke it up. <laughs> what you guys say? This is crazy as hell. Could be. Everybody got to look crazy. But you got something out there that's just retarded. Retarded, just like, I hope they find him. I hope they give him a chair. The guy, a couple of days ago, killed a little boy and a baby. Three-year-old baby, man. They gonna give him, uh, get, they, gonna, they gonna kill him. <laughs> they gonna give him the literature and then still inject him. <laughs> Make sure he's fucking gone. <laughs> man, it's crazy, man. Now, those, those people right there, you know, you got some evil-minded people, man. It's just all different types of people out here. <laughs> But uh, guys, I'm chilling, man. Taking a break. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in here in a minute, huh? Taking a break, right quick. All right, call the kids to see what they.